Five Nights at Freddy's has probably been one of the most anticipated movies this month. And not just by fans of the franchise either. That's why I decided to wrap up my Halloween special with this movie. Although, let me just say, I have never played a single game in this franchise. So I can only speak as someone who saw the movie but has no knowledge about how the franchise works or anything about the story. However, I did see it with somebody who was pretty knowledgeable about the franchise. And we both said it was good. Let me get to why. So I'm sure, as we all already know, this is a big commercial adaption of the Five Nights at Freddy's game. Though it did come out on Peacock. But I do say that seeing it in theaters was a much better experience. But if you do have Peacock and you rather just see it from your couch, that's okay too. But if you have a soundbar or surround sound system, I highly recommend using that because it'll make the movie a lot more enjoyable. The premise of this movie was kind of surprising. When I first walked into the theater, I was expecting a slasher gore fest, but it wasn't. And what we got wasn't what I was expecting. It was a lot more emotional than I thought it was going to be. Our main character, Mike, who is played by Josh Hutchinson, is actually in a legal battle with his aunt for custody of his little sister. Let me just say that his aunt is a total bitch. She is only wanting custody because she'll know she'll get a paycheck for raising a child. Also, Mike's little brother was kidnapped when he was young, and he has this strong belief that in his dreams he can revisit that that past memory and believes that he can find out who was the one who kidnapped him and he believes he can get some kind of closure with it. I mean, a lot of people in the movie think he's crazy. And I'm sure there are some other people out there who will think that he's crazy. I am not one of them. So anyway, in order to make ends meet for both him and his sister, Mike gets a security guard job working the night shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Parlor. It basically would be our version of Chuck E. Cheese if Chuck E. Cheese was condemned and out of business. The only difference is, is that this place is haunted by possessed animatronic animals. The best scene in this movie, which also was in the trailer, was when these street punks break into Freddy's and the robots or animatronic animals, whichever one you want to call them, end up killing them in a very PG-13 way. To be honest, I didn't really care if this movie was rated PG-13 or R. I mean, when the moment I walked into the theater, I mean, like I said, I was expecting a slasher gore fest, but I also wasn't expecting it to be scary. I just wanted them to get the story right, even though I don't know it. But my friend does know it, and they said even though it wasn't accurate, they did hit a lot of the important points. Though I feel that... There were a lot of scenes that would have benefited if they did get a little gory. The movie was an hour and 45 minutes. Honestly, it probably could have just been 90 minutes. Hell, it probably could have even been 75 minutes now that I think about it. Because the movie is a lot more entertaining when Mike is at Freddy's. That's when we get the chill factor added in. When he's not at Freddy's, the chill factor isn't there. It's like they turn it on and off. And when the chill factor isn't there, it's like we're watching a bunch of useless bullshit. At least till the, till the climax, because then we're getting the chill factor from start to finish. Also, I feel like they didn't use the animatronics all that much. Let me just say their names, of course, that so no one get, who is a fan of this movie gets mad at me for not saying their names. But, you know, you guys know who I'm talking about, of course. Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, and Chica. But I feel like they're, if they had made this movie shorter, we could have spent a lot more time seeing them instead of seeing, you know, the movie spend so much more time on them just building a bunch of relationships with the characters. Don't get me wrong here. I believe that character development and building relationships between characters is one of the most important things that a movie can have. I just felt like that in this movie, they did more with that than they needed to instead of spending most of the time where the audience probably wants us to be. And that's with Mike at Freddy Fazbear's. Also, Matthew Lillard, who plays our villain here, is giving such limited screen time. He kills it when he's on screen. But seeing that he's the villain and with so little screen time that, that he had, 
I mean, it just feels like they cut out the big plan here, like, to the sidelines. And, like, until we get to the very end, we forget why he gave Mike the job to be the security guard at this pizza parlor. I mean, he got seriously cut on his screen time. He deserved a lot more than that. Overall, Five Nights at Freddy was entertaining. I mean, I was entertained, but I feel like there were moments in this movie where the movie could have really, really capitalized, but all we got were shadows and missed opportunities. That's why I'm giving Five Nights at Freddy a B minus. You know, now that I think about it, this kind of situation with this movie kind of reminds me of when I went to see Suicide Squad. I mean, when the movie came out, when this movie came out, I mean, it's gonna get slammed. Actually, it's probably already getting slammed by big critics. Suicide Squad did too, but it was up to, and it's up to us as the fans to really get them to make more of the franchise. Because as an audience, we enjoyed it. So I mean, if we wanna get more of this franchise, we have to show how much that we enjoyed this, even though the big the ones up top are saying that it is garbage or a complete waste of time. So Five Nights at Freddy's, every, everybody. If you guys have seen this movie, please comment here down below what your thoughts were. Also, if you'd like, you can tell me what your favorite scene was or anything you thought they could have done better. I mean, anything about this movie, just please comment here down below, below in the comment section. Also, if you like my other videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.